Welcome to How to List Your Product on Warrior Plus. In this video, I will take you through the basics of how you can list and launch your product with your Warrior Plus account. Get started by logging in to your Warrior Plus account. Then, click on this Vendors link here. You'll come to this page, which gives you two options to start managing your sales on this site. You can look through the services offered here to decide which you'd like, but I'd recommend going for the advanced free setup. So click on this green button here. You will then arrive on this page, where you can start specifying details about your product. First, select the sale type. You can choose between buy now, single payment, subscription multi-payment, or free product, whichever applies. For now, I'm going to select free product. For product code, this is generated by Warrior Plus by default, so just leave it as it is. And now you can move on to the product name. I'm just going to type in test for now. Down here, you'll need to upload your delivery file. If, let's say, the product you're offering is a download, like an ebook or PDF file, then attach the file here. If you have more than one file, compile them in a zip file and then attach it here. However, if, let's say, your product isn't downloadable and is actually in the form of online content, you can skip the previous step and just type in the URL where your buyer will access your product after purchase. Over here, you have the option to get sales notifications. Enabling this will allow you to be notified when your product gets purchased, but it's completely up to you. I'm going to leave the sales notification on. Beneath that, you can set your product's refund period. If you aren't allowing any refunds, set this value at zero days. Down here, you need to specify the type of content your product contains, whether it's an ebook or an audio file, or even a combination or bundle of different types of content. Just go through the list and select the ones that pertain to your product. Now here under Categories, you want to select no more than three categories that your product falls under. Again, just go through this list and find the three categories that match your product best. The next field allows you to key in some keywords. This is great because it can help with your SEO and your product will be able to be seen by all the right people. So type in your keywords here, no more than three, and make sure to separate them by commas. You also have the option to include an image of your product. Just click the Select Image button here, and you can upload your product from your desktop. You could even choose not to upload a custom image, in which case this default Warrior Plus image will be displayed. Here you also have the option to limit your sales. Let's say the item you're selling is a physical product. Setting a limit will prevent you from overselling items when they are already out of stock. Under Support Details, you need to include a support email address. This is the email address which will be given to your buyers so that they may contact you for support. If you have a contact form hosted online, you can also input your support URL here so that customers can contact you this way. Moving on, you need to specify if your product is a standalone product without additional one time offers or upsells. If there are OTOs and upsells, what you want to do is keep this off and then create your sales funnel via the link provided. Over here, you just need to include the regular price of your product. I'm going to enter $9.99. For this bit here, if you've connected your Warrior Plus account with any autoresponders or webinar softwares, you can configure those here. If you haven't connected your accounts yet, you can do so by clicking on this blue button here. And similarly, you can configure your membership software, if you have one, in this section down here. For this custom integration section, I usually just leave it empty. If you have the know-how to configure these, you can, but I usually just skip past this section. On to affiliate programs. This is where you select the commission rates for affiliates promoting your products. You can also choose not to have an affiliate program at all by selecting No Affiliate Program though I wouldn't recommend it. Down here, you can add in extra information about your product. This text will be displayed to affiliates who are interested in promoting your product. And below that, this Affiliate Program Accelerator feature promotes your Warrior Plus affiliate program in exchange for commission, so it's up to you to turn this feature on or to leave it off. In this bottom section, 
I highly recommend that you keep this deal of the day as eligible. Because if your product is picked as deal of the day, it will be promoted to more people, both customers and affiliates. You can also specify here if Warrior Plus affiliates get a different commission compared to regular affiliates, so you can choose the value here. And lastly, this is where you add in extra information for Warrior Plus to access your product. Warrior Plus will need to review your product before it gets listed in the marketplace. So, for example, you'll need to provide login details if your product comes in the form of a members-only website. And once you're done, all you need to do is hit save and then wait for your product to be approved. It's that easy. That's it for now. I hope this video was helpful, and all the best with your product listings.